Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie Miller with IOIBdesigns.com. If you're new here, on this channel I bring you DIY craft tutorials that you can do at home. If you're a DIYer, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I've been so excited to share with you this tutorial of how you can make these adorable little gnomes. Are these guys not the cutest? And I don't know about you, but I was not up on my gnome history. All I know is I've seen gnomes all over for quite some time now. And I actually researched it to find out that gnomes are actually supposed to be protectors of your home and bring you good luck. I'm probably just way behind the times and I should have already known that, as my 11 year old told me. But anyway, I think this year we could all use some good luck, so I decided I needed to have, needed to have some gnomes around my home. I'm also gonna be sharing with you some printables that I created to so along with these gnomes, which would make these perfect gifts for people on your holiday list this year. Cause as I said, I think we could all use a little luck around our home this year. So let's get started. For this project, I got all my supplies at the Dollar Tree or I already had them on hand. I used a mop, yep, from the Dollar Tree, a bag of beans, a scarf or some other type of material, a small Christmas ornament ball, which I forgot to show here, but you'll see shortly. And I used an old sock, but you could also get one of those from the Dollar Tree. First, you're gonna stuff the bag of beans into the sock. Ignore my OCD here, no idea why I felt the need to turn the bag around. I just needed the print to go the other direction for no good reason. So you're just gonna scrunch the sock all around the bag and get it to where it will stand on its own and the beans are hidden. You'll also need to work a little hole down at the top where you're gonna attach the mop head. The mop head easily unscrews from the handle and you're left with this plastic piece that you just hot glue right into the hole you created. I was sure to hot glue onto the sock so I didn't just melt the plastic of the bag. This is gonna be the beard for your gnome. You can leave it just like that or you can unwind each strand of the mop for a fuller beard. This takes a little time but I think it's so worth it. It's so cute and full this way, I just love it. Now for the hat. I used a Dollar Tree scarf that's made out of a soft felt material. I like to say that I'm allergic to sewing, so my version is quick and simple using just hot glue and the felt material is perfect because it doesn't fray. But if you like to sew, feel free to make your gnome hat by sewing. I cut two triangles, making sure the base of the triangle would fit around the gnome's head. I was trying to get this fringe to be at the end of my hat, but you'll see I made an oops coming up since I don't have a sewing brain. Now, there's no right or wrong side to this scarf, but if you use a material that does have a right and wrong side, you'll wanna place the two right sides together and hot glue the right side edges together all around your triangles, leaving the bottom open. I think I should have left the fringe ends unglued so I could pull them through, but you'll see the fringe gets stuck inside. Oops. <laughs> I evened up the bottom of the hat by trimming straight across to give it an even edge and then turned the hat right side out. This is when I discovered the fringe was stuck inside. <laughs> oh well, I worked with it for a while and then I just realized, nope, I just messed it up. If you are a sewer, comment below, where did I go wrong to get the fringe to be at the end of the hat? It's okay, it's still cute without the fringe. Now, some people like to glue the hat on, but I've decided to just place it on the gnome's head and not glue it so I can change out the hats for different holidays and seasons. I'm using a small plastic Christmas ornament I got at the Dollar Tree as the nose. I removed the top part of the ornament and glued it on sideways to hide the seam that was on the ornament. Just play around with the placement of the nose to get your desired look. I like to have the hat on for this part to be sure I stick the nose in the right place. I ended up gluing some of the mop strands down so you didn't see the sock showing through. And that's it, your gnome is complete but I wanted to make my gnomes perfect for gift giving. So I created some printables to go along with them. I made a round tag to attach to the hat that says, a house is not a home without a gnome, along with a card that explains what gnomes are and how they are said to protect your home. Or there's a lucky little gnome poem that you could put with a gnome you're gonna gift to someone. You can get all three of these in one easy download file on my website, which I'll link in the description box below. I am just in love with my little gnomes. As you can see here, I made another triangle hat, but this one I stuffed with tissue paper so it would stand up tall. So get creative with your hats. I think some pom-poms or tassels on the ends of the hats would be cute too. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these gnomes and hit that like button if you like this tutorial. 
Do you think you'll make any gnomes and gift them this year? Don't forget to visit my website to get your gnome printables. The link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.